Right, a cow that was part of a senior prank in Niles last week, now resting comfortably at a McHenry County Animal Sanctuary. It got away from the uh, seniors that mm. were trying to pull the prank, ran through neighborhoods there. The Humane Society taking care of the cow will eventually adopt the animal out, but in the meantime, they're having some fun and asking for some naming suggestions. With us now is Executive Director Cynthia Glensbard with the Hooved Animal Humane Society. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for being with us. Last time we talked, uh, which I think was Thursday, uh, I interviewed you then, and uh, you were still kind of trying to determine if uh, this cow was a boy or girl. What have you found out? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we we have been able to determine that it's a heifer. She hasn't had any calves yet. So, uh, and she's approximately eight years old, and uh, she's a very curious little girl and uh, and sweet. So she's coming around nicely and is making wonderful friends with her neighbors, the horses. I think you probably meant eight months old, right? Yes, I'm eight sorry. Yes, yeah. I did. Thank eight months old. Much. Just look. Come on, Mark. Yeah, an eight-year-old cow. We'd be sending them to the retirement home. <laughs> yeah. You know? But that, yeah, that's, you know, as cows go, it's a cute cow. You know, I'll give you that. At, so, they're adopting. Yeah, so. they're, they're adoptable they're, too, right? Yeah. So you're from the hooved animal um, humane society. What is the strangest hooved animal <laughs> that you've ever received? Well, I believe we're 52 years old, so we have a few that predate me. And uh, I believe at one point in time, we even had an elk on the farm. But an we elk. regularly <laughs> receive um, pigs and goats and sheep and horses from animal control and law enforcement that we work with. Hmm. Yes. Have you ever had one that garnered so much attention? No, she <laughs> is our first. Your first <laughs> and celebrity. She's a little star. <laughs> Well, it looks like uh, she has plenty of land to roam on up there. Nice, some nice green grass. So she may not want to move on. She might just want to hang out with you guys. I know. <laughs> well, we hope to find her own where she can be with another, uh, uh, another of her species, since they are herd animals. Yeah, that's true. What do you think uh, she'll eventually go? I mean, where where do your hooved animals go off to? Are, are they going back to a farm somewhere? Are they being adopted by petting zoos? I mean, what's what's likely in her future? Well, we are taking applications, and um, we do see a gamut of different uh, things. Sometimes, like, our horses will go to therapeutic programs, that type of stuff. Um, so we are open that she'll go to, like, an animal sanctuary. could be another home uh, where people are just letting their cows enjoy uh, a nice uh, lush green pasture and hang out with them. Or um, it could be a petting zoo. You know, we've had some interest from some of those. So we're open to finding her a nice forever home. I have an idea. What's your idea? A couple of weeks ago, we did a story about cuddling with cows. Oh, cow cuddling. Cow yes. cuddling. It's, it's a, a big thing. It's a thing now, it's apparently. It's a trend. Yeah. I think that a lot of it people is. would want to want to cuddle with this little miss. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And she, she's very friendly, she and then is. she'll just keep getting more the more attention that she gets. So okay. I, I don't want to bring think, this yeah. up, uh, but mm -hmm. um, there's not really a chance she's going to end up in the uh, freezer section at my local grocery store. Is is there? She's going to go on and find nope, a nice nope. home. This little cow won the lottery. It sounds uh, like it. Nope, she will live. Uh, she will live out her life uh, very well loved, and uh, her adoption price will be well above market value. Okay, good. Naming suggestions. You're asking people to go to your Facebook page and try to name this 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 little lady. What have you gotten so far? We are. We have some really great suggestions, some creative people. We've got Queen of the Nile, Catra, uh, <laughs> along that same line. That's cute. Uh, really cute one, uh, Moudini, because she's Moudini. a little Moudini, Moudini. right? <laughs> Escape artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we have some really cute ones, like, you know, Matilda and uh, Nelly and all different kinds of things like that. Is she going to so, get to pick her name? <laughs> no, she's gonna, she's not going to get to pick her name, but uh, I think she'll be happy with whatever it is. <laughs> I think so too. All right. Well, she looks. It probably means that there's a nice pile of hay sitting there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she looks like she's fitting in well. Uh, what's your Facebook page? How can people uh, give their suggestions? Yeah, just visit us at the Hooved Animal Humane uh, Society's page, Facebook page, which is Haas Rescue, H A H S, and. Uh, Submit your your name in the comment section, and we're hoping that you will make a suggested donation <laughs> of approximately five dollars. And 
we are a nonprofit agency, so all of that helps us to go to be able to be there for animals in these types of sure, situations. Sure, of course. Yeah. All the animals, you need all the donations you can get. Cynthia, right. thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Say thank hi to her for us. for having Give us. Give her a little we'll squeeze. We'll keep you posted when she finds that forever home. Please do. Please do. <laughs> Although, I think, Mark, I think Mark's uh, going to take her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing yeah. her home. Bring her yeah. home. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Cynthia. I need, I need a cow Good to cuddle cow with. Good cow cuddling. <laughs> All right, you Appreciate guys. Thanks thank so much you. for being with us.